Well guys, not exactly how I planned to start this video. I actually wasn't gonna start this video till tomorrow, but I said, man, this is all part of the story. A few days back, I got a call from C.A. Richardson, Captain C.A. Richardson, I should say, uh, and he said, hey man, you gotta come on over. Let's do it, let's do some fishing. And uh, I said, say less, let's go. And uh, I, drew, I drove about five and a half hours just now. I'm just outside of Tallahassee, I believe, at a rest stop and uh, that's where this story is starting. So we're heading over to Louisiana, uh, Burris to be exact, and we're gonna be staying at a lodge. I'm gonna say more about it later in this video. Uh, right now, I'm gonna try to get some sleep at this rest stop here. Um, a little bit of a car camping setup. I've never done this before, I'm really excited. Uh, I've never slept in a car, period, but that's what we're gonna do. We've got Maggie's car right behind me. She let me borrow it because it's better on gas. We've got a setup here. We got the bed, we got a mattress, and uh, I'm gonna try to get a few hours of sleep, but I could not be more excited to fish with CA, but I'm surrounded by trucks right now. They're all running, it's pretty loud. It's pretty bright out here as well. I'm gonna try to get a few hours, like I said, and uh, I'm gonna pick back up with you guys in the morning. We'll just, we'll see how this goes. I'm honestly most, uh, worried about the heat out here in Florida in the summertime. We're gonna catch some monster redfish, but uh, I gotta get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, guys. Well, probably not the most flattering angle here, but we did halfway decent car camping last night. The first rest stop I was at where you guys saw me last night, it was decent. I fell asleep for a couple hours and then like, man, them trucks, they're loud. And uh, I was sitting right in front of all the engines running all night long. And I was like, I gotta move to a different one. But uh, I moved to this rest stop. You can see them trucks are all backed up to me here. So it's pretty quiet, a lot quieter here actually than than the last one it was also much darker it was way too bright at the last one but we did pretty dang good slept for probably a total of like five and a half hours and that is way better than waking up at 3 a.m over on the east coast and driving all the way to louisiana in one snap but we're gonna make the rest of the trip today and meet up with ca and i am so excited yeah i'm gonna hop up in the driver's seat and gotta get some to eat and let's do it it's a pretty cool trip so far All right, well, we are not in Louisiana just yet. <clears throat> but we took a little detour to Gulf Shores, Alabama. Some of you guys may recognize this logo. What's, What's up, man? How Brad, nice Brad. to meet you. Good Justin, meet you. how's it going? This is Kelton. Kelton? <laughs> a little shy sometimes. He's the one who watches my videos? He is. Gotcha. Yeah. Can you say hi? Justin, nice to meet you. Give him a fist bump. He's got this. Give him a fist <laughs> Maybe in a minute. Cool. Nice to meet you. All right. So I was looking through the store here, and they have everything, every pen reel you could ask for. My favorites right here, the pen slammer, and then the pen authority up here. Two of my favorites. I'm going to make it quick in here, but all the pen stuff right here, all of it, every size as well. Uh, I'm rocking most of the time the 2500 right here, one of my favorites. Um, in today's video, I'm actually going to be rocking the 3500 in the DX version, which is this black and, uh, black and silver, but this store is sick. What's up? Hey, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice finally. To meet you. Yeah. Good cool. To see you yeah, person. I was checking out the store. It looks awesome. Well, I mean, thank uh, you. Brad kind of already gave me the spiel about yeah, it, but yeah. I mean, it looks awesome. So congratulations. Well, thank it's you. Really, really awesome. appreciate it, dude. So I think we're going to try to grab lunch. Is that correct? Absolutely. Maybe, maybe Brant is going to meet up with us. Maybe. We'll yeah. He's love, a little diva. Yeah. <laughs> love to introduce him to the He'd channel. He'd have to get prettied up, you know. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. So you guys probably know uh, Matt from Beach Bum Outdoor, or Beach Bum, uh, Bama Bam, Beach Bam, Bum, Bam. that's the word. <laughs> One of those beach, twister. Beach it's a Yeah, I know there's a lot, a lot of, of beach bums around here. Bums. And then Bearded Brad, I'll have both of their channels linked in the Thanks, description. Bro. But uh, really quick, I mean, I was just stopping by and decided to make it worth it. I'm making this trip in two days, so it's kind of nice to just stop and take a break from it. Oh. 
Man, I am stuffed. Well guys, just hopped back into the car after a really uh, good lunch with Matt, Brad, and uh, Brant. I unfortunately didn't get to uh, uh, meet Brant up on the channel. I, I didn't I didn't have my camera ready or anything, but yeah, we are officially on the way to Louisiana right now to meet with CA. I kind of just got sidetracked here in uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama, and it was pretty pretty nice to meet them. They're a very, very nice group of guys. So yeah, let's, uh, let's head to Louisiana. Let's go. Well, finally stepping foot for the first time in Louisiana here at the Cajun Fishing Adventures Lodge in Burris, Louisiana. I have never been here before. I've been to Louisiana a few times now, but man, Louisiana, the roads are not smooth at all. It was it was rough getting down like a 50 mile long run to the lodge here, but uh, CA is actually not here right now. He's going to be out here. He's going to be back a little bit later, and I think we're just going to hop right into the fishing tomorrow morning, and uh, I'll let him introduce himself. So I am super tired. I'm also super excited at the same time, and uh, yeah, welcome to Louisiana. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is finally here. We are in Louisiana on the boat with Captain CA. Now I'm gonna have him introduce himself in just a second. You guys should know him already. If you're a younger guy, you might not actually, but that's okay, you're gonna learn about him today. And we're gonna do some, hopefully some epic sight fishing of redfish. And, and this journey has been, uh, I'm gonna go back a little bit here, but this journey getting here, it is always so crazy. And it's just, it's surreal to finally be here in the boat. So. CA, I'm gonna have you introduce yourself because I think only you can <laughs> you can do it the right way. But let everyone know who you are, especially if they don't. So try to fit it all. I know it's tough. You I'll, I'll have been. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I've been, I've been in front of a camera for almost 20 years now, and the host of a traditional television series called Flats Class TV. But I will tell you, since I started doing my YouTube channel, it has changed the way I look at doing video. And today, after a short meeting with Justin at iCast, I decided why not invite Justin out here and do some world-class sight fishing. So if you've never been to the Louisiana Marsh, jump in the boat with us and let's go get them. Well, we are hopping up on the casting platform here. CA is, of course, on the back of the boat pulling, and we are in an ultra shallow pond lake here. CA would call it a lake. I, I thought it was a pond, but it's pretty big here, and I mean, it is inches. And uh, today we're fishing, tomorrow we're fishing. I'm gonna do my best. It's not gonna be about tackle or, or lures or anything like that. It's most importantly about fishing with CA, but I will just quickly mention, I am fishing an NLB and mini mullet. We'll try this for right now. If it don't work, I'll switch to whatever's working. But uh, I would really like to have a big red come up and slam this thing. I've also got a shrimp tied on. We'll just have to see what happens here. They should be up and out of the water. We'll just have to wait and find out. I'm gonna say it again, could not be more excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got him. It's right here. Is that what it did? I kind of lost. He sunk down. You came right over his back down. Okay. It's hard to get this. You're not on his level. You're here. He's pushing again. There it is. <laughs> hey, that didn't take long, CA. <laughs> he came up on that and slammed it. It's a good fish. That is a good fish. So 
CA was telling me about these mats and how they can kind of use them to their advantage to lose them. And you can see here I've got, it looks like I've got grass all over my line, which is a bit different than the previous times in Louisiana where I didn't have this problem. Perfect. About a 25 incher. He came up and smoked that and that was probably the second or third cast on him it took. Whew. Hey, how about that? And like I was saying, check out all that grass there right on him. That is heavy too. That's probably almost a pound of grass at least. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure that one out. I'll take the fish off first. Nice 25 incher. He's awesome, but there's some bigger ones around here too we are going to find. There he goes. Hey, CA, thank you. That was awesome. First one down. We've been here 15 minutes. All right, after about five minutes here, I've got all the grass off my line. CA was not joking about the grass, man. That's incredible. It's like... Another big red up here as well. Okay. It's a big red too. All right, let's find him. I got him. I got him. I got him. He's coming at us. Come on, come on, come on. This grass is killing me. Ooh, ooh, CA's on. CA's on. Oh, we spit it. <laughs> I was throwing that drum back here and he's on back there. Here, could you pass me that frog real quick? I want to show everybody what in the world you're throwing. So this right here, CA's got a frog on. Is there a real reason why you're throwing a frog? Are there frogs swimming through here? There are plenty of frogs that are in the marsh, but the bigger the bigger deal with it is I can make presentations over all the top of this floating vegetable matter, if you will, right. in here, and I will never pick up grass with this right. fish, never. Right, there's one right there, is that him? You see that fish right there? There's a fish right here, I can't tell what that is. Looks like, it, I see red to me, I see that pinkish, but it could be a drum. Oh, come on. Oh, I got him. Oh, boy. I just... We've been messing around with drum here for the past 20 minutes. Throwing at him and throwing at him, and I could not get one really to even turn. This one went straight to it and thumped it. He thumped a mini mullet, which is crazy. <laughs> crazy it's pretty funny to have a drum this big and he's gonna just wear me down here let's see how this fight goes okay all right all right this is a big drum he's probably about a 35 incher i think Huge! Check that out! Oh! <laughs> that is a 40 inch drum. ACA, this is the biggest drum of my life right here. Oh my gosh. And he, the, the bait he ate is just ridiculous. I, I do think these things would eat just about anything if it just flicked right in front of them just the right way. <laughs> but ridiculous. This is how many pounds do you think this guy is? I'm gonna say a good 25, 30 pounds. Yeah. Huge head. Inches from side to side. <laughs> yeah, 12 inches wide, right? Monster. I mean, those are marsh monsters. <laughs> That's what those are, marsh monsters. All right, guys, monster black drum with CA here. I mean, I think he's a 35, 40 pounder. This is probably close to the biggest drum of my life. If you guys can see him, pretty good there. But, uh, oh, it'll be quick there. Well, let's get this guy back in the water. I think, oh, it's more of an issue pulling him out than this to just leave him in, which I almost just did. Well, guys, I don't know how that angle looked from like the seat point of <laughs> point of view there, but that was a giant drum. CA so, yeah, said probably about 35 pounds, which I would agree. Yeah, it was, it was huge. It was huge. So <sighs> we've only been out here still probably maybe an hour, yeah. and we've had 50 shots at fish, most of them being drum, which are obviously very maybe not smart, but it's hard to find it's find the right rhythm to get them to bite. We're gonna we're gonna find some redfish here. I know it. I know it. We've been seeing quite a few, but them too always takes just the right the right rhythm to get them to bite as well so all right i think i'm gonna keep fishing when i'm fishing it seems to be working and uh maybe we can get ca fish here in a second
Look at this, I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, yep. There it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. That drum ain't like, I mean, he was like a red. The second he saw it, boom, turned over to it and boom, slammed it. All right. Well, as you guys can see here, we are surrounded by drum. Uh, and that one chewed. That one chewed. Another thing I forgot to mention today, it is dead glass. I mean, dead glass. Every single time I've been to Louisiana, the weather has been an issue. But not today. I mean, the only issue with today is it's real hot, but... I guess I'll take that over it being uh, 22 miles an hour out here and it being rainy, cloudy. But here's another great one. Not quite as big as the last one, but still huge. That is a good fish. Great fish. Look at that tail. <laughs> How about that? Oh. Doesn't take many fish to get to a hundred pounds here, does it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Comes to the side of the skiff. All right, giant. What I'm going to do here is just quickly pop him off. I don't even think I intended to catch this fish. It just got the best of me. I said had to put <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> had to put the bait in front of him. <laughs> no doubt. Awesome. That's part of being here. Hey, let's go. Two drum down. We got to pick up some of them reds, though. That's what we're here for. What do you think of a hot pink, CA? Good or nah? Yeah, well Somewhere in there. The turn always oh, on it. Right? I lost. Oh, there he is. Yep. It's a red, it's a red, right? Yep, yep. Oh, big red, big red. Oh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> hey, there it is. There it is. Make that drag screen. Took a few casts, man. It is such a, such a, such a weird fish. <laughs> Oh, those Louisiana redfish, they're not the... Oh, oh, swam at me. I thought I lost him there. He's just, wow, 100 miles an hour at the boat. Good fish. Right. Yep. Well, CA was saying in the back of the boat there for his video that these fish, while they can be very aggressive, it takes a very narrow, a really tight spot to put the bait in to get them to pull the trigger. Now that one was very aggressive, but it took us three, four casts to make it presentable for him. Let's see, I'm guessing this one's probably about 36. All right. Whoa, big one that's a 40 at least pretty dang close he did not look that big in the water i, I when that fish ate i couldn't tell you if it was 25 i couldn't tell you if it was 45. i can tell you right now that fish is gonna push 38 39 inches yep i'm gonna say he's probably 40 or 41. hey that was awesome you're in the 40 inch club Way to go. <laughs> nice all right guys it is currently nine well i should just say it's 10 o'clock right now in the morning and we've knocked out two reds and two drums ca's, ha CA's had some big blow-ups on the frog which has been pretty neat yeah sun's coming up here it should be like our prime prime sight fishing hours i would think i mean they're chewing good and there's a lot of fish around i'm having an absolute blast i mean there is fish everywhere um mostly black drum but man that last red that was something else that was a big red and in super shallow water i mean a foot deep maybe and i was we said probably about 41 inch red so we're doing awesome right now i'll tell you what it is about 10,000 degrees out right now and i've drank two waters already but man it's just it is awesome out here oh my God. 
That's a hell of a shrimp fish, though. It's pretty big. I'm gonna get a sheep's head. Oh my gosh, I did it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. <laughs> there it is, finally. I said two minutes ago, I have never caught a sheep's head on a lure, ever. I did it. <laughs> man. Man, that's a big one too. He's probably 18 inches. All right, I'm gonna try to swing him in here, I guess. Let's see. He's a chunk, man. Oh, that is a stud. He might be a 20 incher. That's close to one of the biggest sheep's I've ever caught. Let's measure him. Let's just find out. Throw him on right here. See if I can get him to stay still. What a stud. I just said, man, we had been seeing a bunch of sheep's. I might as well pick up the Savage Gear shrimp here. He is roughly, yeah, I mean, he's roughly 18 inches. What is he, 18 now? Yeah, if I can get him to sit still. Yeah, I mean, he's on zero there all the way back to about 18. On the money with my guess. All right, first ever sheep's head on a lure. Got him there on that Savage Gear shrimp. I mean, that was lucky. I, I'll say that because it was the first one I had really had a good shot at, and he ate it now. I guess I'll keep this on and see if maybe I can find another, but man, how about that? First, first sheep on a lure. And I've got a lot of sheep's head, and I've also had about a million rejections from these guys with lures, but we'll toss them back. I, that's one thing I wanted to catch today, and I can't believe I actually did it. <laughs> There's been a lot of gators around, so we're going to try to do this real quick. There he goes. Nice, and I still got both hands. <laughs> awesome. You're not aiming as much. <laughs> that was awesome all right guys well we're just taking a break now eating some lunch we're moving it's actually gators all around us right here which is pretty neat because um, my last few trips to louisiana was a different part and really hadn't seen many gators there i was fishing more of like the ocean stuff it's probably a little more salty would you say or well what what makes these gators sit here versus not being a different part of the marsh i think because of the rosa cane um and it, it harbors more life. You've got more pigs in here, deer in here. There's a lot more life for them to predate on here. So this is just a healthier environment for them. There is more fresh water and less salt parts per million in this zone for sure. Mm -hmm. But there's definitely more habitat for them to exist down here. Right, yeah. And another thing, I mentioned this earlier, every time I've been here, it's been freezing. It is super hot right now, so it's like, it seems like it's been one way or the other the times I've been here, but it is just an epic fish tree. Epic. Um, that sheep said, awesome. That like made the trip for me because I've never done that before. Got plenty of redfish, but sheep said on a lure, that was awesome. Pretty but, uh, cool. Yep. Pretty cool. But we're moving spots here. We're gonna keep fishing, having a good old day. Oh. Good call. CA's on here. You think it's a red or something else? I think it's a red. Yeah, it's a red. Ooh, there it is. Good call. Good call. So we decided to work this uh, current's move, and it's real deep here. Actually, 20 feet deep, if you can believe that, between this small cut right here. 20 feet right there. And uh, there you go. First fish of the day for CA. Yeah. Just trying to throw a heavier bait to fight the current. Right. That was a big gar that came there. It there it is, yeah. It has that redfish look to it because of the coloring, <laughs> but it's not. Being spot locked down here, you, you're not only fighting the weight of the fish, but you're fighting the, the current itself. Right, good point. Good point. But this is a lot cooler water. And it's this water seems filthy on top, but down below it's crystal clear. Right. That's why they see this. So right. Feels weird. Oh my gosh. You have, you have, you have got 
Oh my gosh. I knew it felt weird. I knew it felt weird. I was like, this feels a little odd. <laughs> nice. I knew it felt funky to me. Check wow. that out. It's just crazy. <laughs> Flounder in Louisiana? Yeah. I'll take it. Bouncing along the bottom in the tide. There he goes. Like a little pancake. Well guys, we made it back to the lodge here in uh, Burris and it was just, it was an awesome day. We uh, just wrapped it up with, uh, we, we had some dinner. It was absolutely delicious. The lodge is awesome, awesome. I, big shout out to Cajun Fishing Adventures for having me and uh, also big shout out to CA for inviting me. Now we got another day of fishing tomorrow but I wanted to have CA wrap up today's video. I wanted to hear him say it. He is. He is an amazing speaker. It, that, that may not make sense, but I I look up to him in the way he presents things, and he's really good at it. So I'll let him wrap up today's video, and uh, yeah, CA, let's hear it. What did you think? Well, I mean, overall, for maybe one of the poorest tides that we have during the month of July, we literally blew it away. Uh, Got into a small little lake in the morning, started working it, caught black drum, caught one of Justin's biggest redfish, 41 inches long. After that, we moved to a little pass through. It's like a false channel. When we were in that false channel, he ended up picking up a beautiful sheep's head on one of the shrimp lures, which the eat was just amazing. <laughs> it in was. It in was fact, awesome. In fact, I would say, of all the catches we made today, that was probably the most surprising and unanticipated right. that we experienced. Then, because we were in the heat of the day, I decided to move to a deeper zone and we, we railed, you know, rallied there, caught a couple of more redfish, and then out of nowhere, Justin ended up catching a flounder. <laughs> Once we caught that flounder, we wanted to try a few more things. Didn't really work out, but that's typical summer fishing. You get past noontime, water temperatures are extremely high. We were far enough into the tide at that point where not a lot was happening. And we decided, hey, let's get back, wash the boat up, get cleaned up, and eat one heck of a good dinner tonight. Absolutely, it so, was delicious. Uh, Looking forward to tomorrow with Justin. I Absolutely. think we're I think we're gonna have another day that's gonna be just as epic, especially early. Yep, yep, yep. That was well put. I gotta say that was very well put. This guy is a true <laughs> professional. I must say, a professional. Um, but yeah, we got another day tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's probably gonna be a long one. Please hit the like button and uh, also check out CA's channel. I'll have it linked in the description. Um, he's uploading a ton of content right now on YouTube, especially some very good educational stuff that I really like. I don't do a whole lot of that. He can teach you much better. So do my best. <laughs> go over to his channel, check it out, subscribe. And uh, I think that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. CA, thank you. See you guys tomorrow. Do it again tomorrow. Absolutely. Come